News Log 1613.1. Something has happened that I was completely unprepared for. This is the captain. Jim, come to sick bay immediately. What is it, doctor? It spoke, Jim. I'll be right there. What's wrong with Spock? He's dying, Jim. No, he isn't, Doctor. Whatever it is, you'll find a cure for it. No, oh, I'm trying. But his green blood just won't fight back. And the virus is killing him. A virus? It's an ancient disease, Jim. It's over 3,000 years old was the last known case. How did Spock get it? Well, that's a mystery. It's possible he was born with it. And it lay dormant until something triggered it. But it's always been fatal, Jim. You find a cure for it, Doctor. I can't lose Spock. Can I talk with him? You better, Jim. There's not much time. Come, Jim. I order you to get up and report to the bridge immediately where you belong, Spock. Unfortunately, th that is not possible at the present time, Captain. You're not only my first officer, Spock. You are also my friend. I can forgo my first officer, if I have to, but not my friend. I am doing my best to fight it, but it appears to be winning. I took a poisonous dart for you on Dragor, and I almost died. No, Captain. It was the other way round, actually. <laughs> yeah, you might be right about that. Uh... Together you and me created peace on Tekor, after 400 years of war there. You said it was an impossible task, and yet the peace still holds today. Sometimes logic isn't enough. The understanding that we have for each other, Captain, is something I value highly and hope it will continue. We make a great team, Spock. An unbeatable team. Try not to break it up. I will do my best. I'll return shortly. Don't go anywhere. Goodbye, my friend. I'm going to the bridge. I'll be back. No more than an hour, Jim. He won't last much longer than that. Am I too late, Doctor? Kind of, Jim. There you go, Doctor. Finally a vaccine for that ancient virus that will work on mostly any species. Maybe not the Kimgos of Delta II, but I'm not that good. Spark! Jim! Bones, I don't understand. Well, it was his green blood, Jim. It waited until the virus reached its peak before it attacked. Almost too late. But then it was all over in about 10 minutes, and Spock's readings went back to normal. Well, if you can call Spock's readings normal, that is. Well, it's good to have you back, Spock. You know, a lot of people would be emotionally affected from a near-death experience like that. Well, humans do tend to overreact on natural occurrences, Captain. However, for a Vulcan, it's just another day at the office. Well, I guess at least we have a vaccine that we will probably never ever use. Although that is true, Captain, there's a very small chance that we may need to use a vaccine very soon. What do you think, Doctor? Yes. That's very likely, Spock. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you guys laughing at? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> ah.